Howdy, uh, John Houck here. I'm uh, going to talk a little bit about a Generation 2 group head um, on a uh, LaPavone lever machine. Uh, real quick, there's a nice website uh, that Francesco uh, has put together that helps you date your LaPavone. And uh, starting in 1961, he lists serial numbers, which can be found uh, uh, under the bottom cover of your La Pavone. Um, and uh, so anyway, when I talk about a Generation 2 group head, I'm talking uh, from 2.6 here up to year 2001 uh, and before um, to uh, about 1975 or so is... Uh, and if you can see, before 1975, the, the group head here, the diameter um, above the part, well, I'm talking about this part right here, is larger. And then if you, after 1974, you can see it gets much more narrow. And we'll call that the Generation 2 group head. And then uh, way back here in 2000, or way back forward in 2001, it gets uh, wider again, and we'll call that the Generation 3. At least that's the terminology I'm using. So uh, we're going to be looking at the Generation 2 group head. And let me turn on a section view here to show you what uh, that looks like. And uh, some of you had asked a little bit if we couldn't go into um, uh, how, how this works again. And uh, if you notice, in terms of brew temperature, uh, the temperature that you would typically like to brew espresso is about 90 to 93 degrees Celsius, and I don't want to be quoted on that too much, um, but we know that the water in the boiler at about 118, 119 degrees Celsius is a little bit hotter than would be perfect for a, for a espresso brew. Um, but the Generation 2 group had kind of draws water directly in from the boiler uh, through the siphon tube, through these two little holes, uh, past uh, the piston that we have and fills in the brew chamber here essentially with um, 118 degree boiler water and uh, that's why some people like to change the pressure setting on their boiler uh, you'll see some people have a, a pressure gauge right here see if I can uh, uh, put that on you'll see a pressure gauge will pop up here and they use that to um, see what the temperature is, since there's a relationship between pressure and temperature. The higher the pressure, the higher the, temp the water temperature. And we won't get into the details there, but that's what they tr people try to do to reduce the, the temperature of the water coming into uh, the group head for their espresso brewing. And the other thing uh, people do is they put uh, um, either uh, some water, uh, a ramskin of water here to try to cool off the group head, or some fins uh, put on the group head to try to cool that off. So what they're relying on is maybe when the hot water from the boiler comes in, it contacts the outside or the inside wall of the group head, and that cools the water down before you actually pull the shot. So there might be something to be said for uh, waiting a while to let that water uh, cool a bit, uh, so lift the lever up, um, let the water fill uh, the brew chamber, let that water cool a little bit before you actually push the lever down to pull your shot. So that's just a, a quick thought about um, the uh, Generation 2 um, uh, group head. And, uh, and then as we talked about before, when uh, you push the lever down, uh, steam is easily allowed into the group head here through this, this hole right here. And um, so that steam will fill the group head, heat the group head up nicely, uh, perhaps maybe a little bit too much. And then the way steam works is if it gets in here and, and it's uh, um, too cool, the steam will condense, turn into water, and that then leaves more uh, uh, area in here for more steam to come in. So it's a never-ending heating cycle for the Generation 2 group head. And that's how I understand it. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.